Hey guys, it's Holly and I'm back with another video. So like I said in my Gaming Diary episode, I'm going to go ahead and review Tetris DS versus Tetris Axis. Now one of the reasons I'm doing this is, one of these is my favorite game of all time, and the other one is the newest game that came out. I've always loved Tetris DS. It is my favorite Tetris game ever. It's very hard for Tetris Axis to compete with that and the fond feelings that I have for Tetris DS, but I'm going to talk a little bit about why and the differences between the two games, and that way you guys can make a decision on which one you want to pick up. Now, Tetris DS is a very difficult game to find, and if you do find it, it is still quite pricey. Tetris Axis will probably save you money if you buy it brand new. But there are some clear differences in gameplay, and I wanted to show that to you guys today. So we're going to start with Tetris DS. Definitely my favorite Tetris game. This is Tetris with Mario chiptune music and Mario and Nintendo characters built in. Uh, Donkey Kong, Link, and Samus as well make an appearance here. There are six play modes, and you can play since 2006, this is when it came out, with up to ten players, multi-card or single-card play. You can also play versus your friends online in Wi-Fi battles. Alright, so here we have Tetris DS. So we have single player, multiplayer, Wi-Fi options and records. We'll start with single player. And these are the six modes. You have standard, catch, mission, puzzle, touch, push. Standard is your standard Tetris. Catch, you create a 4x4 set of blocks. Mission, you actually have to complete goals with the Tetraminos. And puzzle, you're given a specific amount of Tetraminos to fit into the puzzle. And touch is where you play standard on the touch screen. And push, my favorite mode, is where you actually push against the other player. So you're given an open field. You're at the top, or you're at the bottom, and the other player is at the top. And you have to try and clear as many lines to fill up their end of the field. So we'll start with standard. All right. So here we are. You can press LRR at any time to hold a piece. Other than that, this is pretty much just standard Tetris. Now you can hear the music, it's awesome. And that's one of the best things about this game. It also gives you different graphics. And there we go, Tetris. Tetris Access. Now, Tetris Access is a 3D game. You can play with up to eight players online. It does have several different modes. It has a Tetris Party mode. And as you can see, this logo here, I'm not sure if it's coming out very well, but the official Tetris Products logo is on this game. That's something that's missing from Tetris DS, which is why it's a harder to find game, because it only had one print run. Alright, so let's go ahead and start. So here's your menu here. Um, you have your feature modes, and those include Marathon, Computer Battle, Fever, Survival, and then you also have your party modes built into this game, which is kind of neat because I've never played Tetris Axis, and all the party modes are here with the bombs and the um, star battle. You can make pictures, so here's the jigsaw, the shadow wide, fit, tower climber, bomb plus, stage racer, capture, master mode, 
sprint. And then these are the AR modes. Now, I will say this about the AR modes, they don't really add that much to the game. I wasn't very impressed with them. Alright, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and play just a marathon mode here. So we're going to play a marathon mode here. As you can see at the bottom of the screen, my me is dancing. It sounds a little bit more like classic Tetris. And it is nice that the puzzle's on the top screen. I appreciate that change. And just like Tetris CS, you can hold a piece. There we go, Tetris. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, your me literally stands there and dances on the screen like that the whole time. You can change the dance that they do, and you can change their outfit, and you can change the music and the background, but the options are very limited. There's nothing in this game that really screams Nintendo. Um, it is a Tetris game, and it is an official Tetris product. The 3D on it is a little bit impressive. You can actually twist the puzzle so that the puzzle's on an angle, um, but other than that, it's just basic Tetris. So final verdict, um, I'll be really honest with you, I was a little bit disappointed by Tetris Axis. I was expecting more from the game. Uh, Tetris DS certainly delivered everything you could ever want in a Tetris game and more. Um, if you can find a copy of Tetris DS, pick it up. You're going to be a lot happier than if you pick up Tetris Axis. You can play Wi-Fi multiplayer with both of these games. The only difference is with Tetris DS, you just have to enter in your friend code. Um, I know a lot of people that already have Tetris DS. I don't know a lot of people that have Tetris Axis. Tetris Axis is great. The graphics are certainly crisper. The music is there, but there isn't that that something that really makes it special. It just kind of makes it a Tetris game on the Nintendo 3DS. So if you want something that's really special and that stands out, definitely get Tetris DS.